The painting in front of us was made by the artist Jacob Lawrence, an African-American painter born in 1917 and died in 2000. It is called Fruits and Vegetables and was finished in 1959 using tempera and hardboard. It was a part of the Mr. and Mrs. Harry S. Lehman Endowment and given to the museum in 2003. This is the early 20th century American gallery, Gallery 216, which is filled with a range of art from Pueblo potters to Japanese immigrants, all classified as American art. The pieces in this gallery are known for their different perspectives into various American cultural traditions. The painting here is a bustling scene at a market. The image shows families of color, mostly women and children, weighing, collecting, and carrying fresh produce. The setting seems very noisy. Imagine a busy day at Cincinnati's Finley Market. Although the scene does not take place in Cincinnati, the atmosphere, sights, sounds, and smells seem to resemble that kind of community market. Which local vendors at Finley Market are your favorite? Perspective of the painting is looking straight down the aisle of the open air market. The aisle is crowded from foreground to background as the shoppers reach to either side to grab their produce. The market itself is seen from the outside, with awnings along the top of the image. The awning to the right is colorful with a thick blue, white, yellow, and pink colored stripes. The awning on the left side is brown and textured with shadows. The stalls of the food vendors are a bright and wood textured red color with food placed on top. On the right side of the aisle, there are pears, green corn husks, potatoes, and two scales. One of these scales in the foreground has potatoes in it that a customer is weighing. That customer is a woman who is reaching to put another potato on that scale. We see her face in profile. She is wearing a blue garment that looks like a dress and is holding onto a child's hand who is wearing red and looking toward another smaller child behind her. The smaller child is hidden by the bags that the woman they are with is carrying. The woman is wearing a red oversized dress and is carrying three bags. Two of them seem to have groceries and the one in her arms has a baby or doll popping out of it. On the left side, we see a customer wearing a large vertical white and red striped dress and a blue colored head wrap. She is leaning over a table of lemons and limes and is holding a banana. She's looking towards the child in red. Another customer in the middle ground is wearing a white garment and a yellow beanie. The customer is in front of another food scale and reaches over the squash for a red piece of produce. Behind this customer is another child, peeking around the adult and looking toward the other children. A woman wearing blue is walking away from the viewer down the center aisle toward two lavender walls that frame the background of the market. She is wearing matching head wrap and is holding a small item in her hand that looks like a list or coupons. The scene shows bold, bright colors and the figures foods and structures are all slightly abstracted. Everything is recognizable, but reduced to more basic shapes rather than looking totally realistic. These bright colors, patterns, and stylized figures are Jacob Lawrence's signature style. Other vibrant Lawrence artworks in the museum collection include prints, the 1920s, the migrants cast their ballots. This print shows people of color and people who are seemingly from all walks of life lining up in an open room to cast their votes. And the library, which shows a busy aisle with people of color reading, looking, and reaching for books. While all three of these artworks were made more than 50 years ago, they show us themes that feel very relevant today. Be sure to use your power to make our community better by supporting local businesses like Finley Market and the library, and by voting. Jacob Lawrence adapted modern abstract paintings to subjects that reflect the experiences of African Americans in their daily lives. 
forging a socially conscious art form, he turned to subjects from African American life and history to raise appreciation for the struggles and achievements of Black Americans. In the art museum's Fruits and Vegetables, Lawrence alludes to the African art in the mask-like faces and jazzy patterns that resemble African textile designs. Thank you for joining us and check back next Sunday for another detailed audio description of a work of art.